What's up everybody, my name is Pierre. Welcome to the channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do a very simple and effective breakdown reel um, without spending too much time on it using a gizmo in Nuke. So for those of you who work in CGI and have a bunch of different shots and different layers that they want to demonstrate um, their work, this is an excellent gizmo and this episode is for you. So let's get to it. So you'll often see in a lot of different breakdown reels by big studios like ILM or Disney or whatever it is, in their breakdown reel, they'll often have like a little slice, a diagonal slice that will come through the shot. And in that slice, you'll see different layers, uh, whether it's a simulation or some kind of other layer. And they often do one after the other and they do it while the shot is in motion and it just looks really, really cool. For a lot of those big studios like ILM and Disney, they often have two guys that are full time and that's all they do all day long. They literally, for months on end, will just take the shots that the studio produces and just break it down and make it look really cool. So the more time you spend on it, the cooler obviously you can make it look. However, for those of you who are out there like myself that have uh, a list of priorities and a lot of things that are higher on the list of priorities than just making a cool breakdown reel and you need to do something rather quick but does an effective job there's a gizmo out there that i recommend that you get and what it does is it's basically you just plug it in um you plug in your shots to this one gizmo this node that you import into nuke and it'll create all your shots for you and it's very easy to customize and it's very quick and that's the whole point. So the first thing I recommend that you do is you go to nukeopedia.com where you'll find a lot of different gizmos on there for Nuke that are very helpful. And type in multi-wiper. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this guy that is uh, multi-wiper version 1.0. And this was created by um, somebody named Yon, Yon G. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Um, but you did a great wiper, multi-wiper, and I recommend everybody to go and download it because it really does take all the pain and all the time out of creating these breakdown reels, which is wonderful for everybody. So uh, go ahead and download that, and uh, it's pretty simple to install and update into your Nuke. Okay, so here we go. We've got Nuke opened up here. These are, um, this is from a Nuke or a Houdini scene that I created for a boat chase. And um, so this is just one camera. This is a uh, camera 34 I brought in. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when everything is composited in a very rudimentary way. There's no atmospherics, there's no background, and the ocean could be f extended. Uh, the ocean displacement could be extended far more. Okay, so here's what the shot looks like. So it's a simple shot. It's two ships uh, going fast, uh, one chasing after the other. And uh, you can see my tank here for the simulations uh, got cut off and I got cut off back here too. Um, but this was uh, simulated and rendered before the RTX 3090s came out. Um, so after they came out, I just rendered every layer I could as quickly as possible. I didn't really do any perfecting to it or anything like that yet because like I said this is just for um, for research and development reasons so I'm just gonna color correct some of this stuff because we can't even see it right now for some reason so I'm gonna bring this up um, okay that looks about right and then uh, yeah so that looks about right and then what I'm gonna do here is underneath that I'm just gonna do a color correct so I can bring the whole thing uh, down a little bit um, so I'm just gonna bring this in just to give it more of that nighttime feel and then I feel like as if the ships could uh, be brought up a little bit yeah so they look better when they're a little bit more illuminated like that um, okay so that gives you an idea of what the layers would look like in fact I'm gonna get that white water to just come up a little bit more Okay, so what I would do, so if I have all these layers here, so if I have all these layers here, the first thing first thing I would do is I would get that multi-wiper node and I would bring it in to here. So I'm just gonna go to tab and then multi-wiper. And then in here, you're gonna see uh, input one, two, three. And what you can do is you can simply click on the plus sign here the addition sign and you can add more as you will 
Um, I'm going to put the format to 4K so that everything matches correctly. And it'll it asks me here what frame do I want to start at. And if I don't want to hold, if I don't want this the uh, shot to run or to play, I could just do a hold frame where it just stays on a freeze frame. However, it doesn't look as cool, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And then down here we have some more features where we can change the angle of the wipe and so forth. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I'm going to grab input one here and go up to my simulation layers, which is right in here. And then I'm going to go to frame 60 and uh, I'm going to set the viewer to look out of the multi wiper. And um, the next pipe I'm going to do is pipe number two. And then I'm going to pipe this one into the actual mesh, mesh fluid right there. And then I'm going to go to um, pipe number three, and I'm going to plug that into the white water. Then once I run out of pipes here, I can just go ahead and, oh wait, there's another one here. I'll go into pipe four, and that will go into the ocean displacement. I'm going to add another one and just grab it from here. And I'm going to pipe this into the fluid splash, or splash fluid. And then I'm going to add more here and keep going until they're all filled in. This one here is the white water. And this one here is and that one is the ships. All right. So, now all right, so now that they're all piped in, I'm just going to go ahead and start it at frame 60. So it, right now it's starting at frame 10, but I'm going to go ahead and change that to 60. And I'm going to go ahead and press play. And you're going to see here how the angle is on th 6 degrees. So if I wanted to change this angle here, one that I really like is minus 45. I like that angle a lot. It just looks really cool. Um, and then I'm going to keep the wipe duration at 10 seconds so that it goes rather slowly because it, it looks kind of cool when you see the transition. And I'm going to wait at about um, 7 frames. And uh, the wipe soften, I'm going to go to 0.3. Uh, let's see here. 14.5. Yeah, for the wipe soften, I'll just go to 10 and uh, leave it at that. So that's basically it. I'm going to go to the front of the frames here, frame 60, where it starts, press play, and then it gives us a little of an idea here. And all those different pipes, all those different layers that I piped into this node are all going to show themselves one after the other. And basically what this does is it just makes things really simple for you so, so that you don't have to um, do these, animate these wipes um manually and spend two days doing this or a day or a few hours doing this or a day doing this because we all have things to do and we'd rather automate things and make things go really quickly than uh waste time right so we went from the simulations and now we're seeing the renders that's the splash fluid with some really bad reflections on there of the boat lights that's gonna have to be cleaned up for the next time I render this thing and then we're moving on to the white water now and here's seeing where the edges of that flip tank was in Houdini um, on the edges there but hey it's part of the whole learning process right in research and developing and then the next wipe should be coming on and then we're gonna see the boats and those boats look putrid on their own. But, however, if you look closely, they're matted correctly there. See how we're missing half the boat? Well, that's matted up against the fluid. Um, and it's, I believe it's also matted up against the white water. However, the ocean displacement is not matted correctly, which is why that one has to be redone. However, even though I have an RTX 3090, it takes too long to render that for a simple thing like this. So I'm going to use that for other resources. And that's pretty much it, you know, it's just that's your breakdown reel. And then what I would do after that is I would just do the entire comp of the shot and run it right after. 
and uh, gives people an idea of all the different layers that you created and how it all works together. All right. So I know this one was a real quick one and this was rather different. I don't normally do stuff in Nuke, uh, especially for YouTube. But in this case, I was actually doing a breakdown reel and I thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I show people how to do this with this cool gizmo that we got? So go ahead and download that multi wiper gizmo that has been made available to us for free and make use of it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and like it if you did like it. And let me know what you thought. Thanks. Peace.